Hey guys, um, we are going to continue with example 3. Our direction is write an equation, sine, and another one, another equation using cosine for the given two graphs. Okay. So I want you to write two different equations. One is using sine function and one is using another um, a, a cosine function. So for you to, our generic function, it's always going to be y equals, or you can use f of x equals, a value in the front, right, times sine, open parentheses, b value, x plus a shift, okay, so that's a horizontal shift of some sort, plus another blank, and there could be a vertical shift if there's an up or down movement. So let's talk about what a is and what b is. Well, remember how we use period? Period of a sine or cosine function is 2 pi divided by absolute value of b. Oopsie. Absolute value of b. So the first thing I would like for us to do is find how long, okay, horizontal distance, that this graph travels before it repeats. So the easiest point for me to start is going to be when x is 1. Okay, so I mean x is 0. I'm going to start right here. Well, if I go from here to here, okay, let's check this out. So this is the distance from 0 to 1 over 2. That's a half unit. Can I go a little bit further? Can I go from here to here? Am I, if I go this distance, do I have that already? Okay, so the question says, hey, how far do I need to go before I repeat? Okay, so if I go from here to here, it's okay. I'm not repeating. If I go from here to here, it's still okay. I'm not repeating myself. How about if I go to here? From here to here. I'm still okay because I'm not repeating. How about if I go this piece? Well, this piece right here, I'm sort of repeating this piece. So I don't want to go this far. So what you need to do is, f f eventually you can eyeball it, okay? So you can, this horizontal distance is from here to here. Can you see that right there? So this is zero, this is one, so your period is one unit, okay? So if your period is one unit, then let's talk about um, what is b, because we need to fill in this blank space. Okay? So we're going to have to do a sine function and a cosine function. So let me write my blank spaces. y equal blank sine blank a and b. We fill those in. x minus or plus blank, doesn't really matter. And then plus a blank for a, a vertical shift, if we have one. All right, so we are going to say the period is 1. Okay, so 2 pi divided by absolute value, e absolute value of b equals 1. Let me get a different color pen. Then if I were to make this into a fraction and cross multiply or multiply both sides by absolute value of b, that's okay too. So we're going to have 2 pi equals absolute value of b, right? And absolute value of b goes in here. And we're going to decide later whether we need to put positive or negative. So right now we're just going to put absolute value of this b spot is now filled with 2 pi. So this spot is 2 pi. Okay? Because we solve for b, b is 2 pi, and that's where it's going to go. Then the next piece is going to be your amplitude, which is the vertical distance, the average, right? Or the distance from the center. So here's the center. Looks like I'm going up 3 units and down 3 units. So we're going to put in a, absolute value of a, which is your amplitude equals absolute value of a, which in this case is going to be 3. Okay, So a is going to be positive or negative. We're going to determine that in just a second. So we have two blank spaces filled in. Now keep in mind what sine function is. Okay, So let's quickly sketch out your sine function. Your parent of the sine function is going to be here four tick marks, right? So from here, we have one tick mark, two tick marks, three, two, four tick marks, right? The parent of sine function is we're going to start at zero. We're going to go up three. Okay. This is sort of the parent function of sine. So here's the graph of sine. Okay. And then if you keep on going, it goes like this. So what's going on with this piece? What can you tell me? How is this? How can I make this? Okay, so what did we do with this sine function? What did we shift? Did we go left or right at all? That is the question. 
So we took this, it used to be 0, 0. So we can do this two ways. It can use to be a 0, 0. And we moved it where? So this point, would you agree that we took this and we move it to the left by negative 1 over 4? Right, because now this point is one tick mark over, and this point right here is now at a one over four. So we took this and we shifted left by a one over four. So shifting left is a minus. Would you agree? So if I shift left, then that's why we have this current piece. So if I shift left by a okay, a pi, a one over four, a one over four then I'm going to end up with this piece. Shifting left by 1 over 4. So that's why I have an addition of 1 fourth. Okay? So when you add a 1 fourth with the x, that's a horizontal shift or face shift to the left of 1 over 4. Now, do I need to move it up or down? Is it off the x-axis at all? No, I didn't have to move up or down at all. So we don't need to use this vertical shift space. So your final answer for sine is y equals 3 times sine of 2 pi x plus 1 over 4. Okay, That's one of the many, and I'm talking about many solutions I can have. I can also take this, and I can also shift it. Where can I shift this? Would you agree that I can shift it all the way over here to the right by 3 over 4? Okay. So I can do I can write the same equation, but instead of doing a left face shift, I can go to the right face shift by three over four. Okay, so that's another way of writing that as well. Now, what would cosine looks like? So y equals blank for my a, cosine blank for my b, x plus a blank for a vertical shift. I'm sorry, not a vertical horizontal shift. There's no vertical shift here. Okay, so I don't really need to worry about this last um, spot. So let's fill in my um, my A and my B. Okay, A, the amplitude is going to be exactly the same as my um, as my sine. My period, cosine and sine period, are two identical things. So make sure you know how to find those. Now the only thing is, what's a is there a a horizontal shift of some sort? Okay, so let's think about cosine function. Cosine of 0, okay, cosine of 0, here's a unit circle, cosine of 0 is 1, but because my amplitude is 3, so I'm going to go up 3. So it looks like we're not really moving anywhere. And if you check this out, I'm starting at 0, comma 3, so therefore there is no horizontal shift. So y equals 3 times cosine of 2 pi x is my final cosine or one of the many cosine equations I can have for this particular one. Okay, So with cosine, you don't have to do any phase shift. So that's all you got to write. Okay, How about this one? So let's quickly sketch out my sine function. Okay, So sine, I'm going to go start from 0, go up. This is just a quick parent function of sine. Okay, do -do 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 -do. This is my sine. So now let's write y equals a times sine of b x. There's a phase shift of something. There's no movement of up and down because the distance from the center, from the middle, is two up and two down. So I know for sure that there's no vertical uh, movement. Okay, so I don't have to do the add an extra space at the back. But now I have to find the period. Okay, so period equals 2 pi all over absolute value of b. Well, let's check out how long I need to travel, right? If I start at 0 and I go to 2, okay, none of those is repeating. If I go to 3, it's still not repeating. If I go to 4, it's still okay. I go to 5, mm, not so much, because if I go to 5, this spot right here repeats with this spot. So I can only go up to to 4. So from 0 to 4 is a distance of 4 units. And from here, if I multiply both sides by b, I have 2 pi equals 4b, or absolute value of b. Okay? Divide both sides by 4. Absolute value b comes out to 2 pi, oops, 
2 pi over 4, which reduces down to pi over 2. So this is where I'm going to fill out my B spot. Okay. So that's, this is my period. This is what B has to be in order to get a period of 4. So the question is, hey, what's my amplitude? How high and how low? Would you agree that I would have to go up to and then down to? Okay. Okay. So now check out the parent function here. Not the parent function. I'm sorry. If I were to give graph a sign with an amplitude of two, then look, zero is still zero. That point is okay. But at one, I would have to be above. So this is sort of a reflection. What is this a reflection of? Would you agree that it's about the x-axis? Okay, if it's a reflection about the x-axis, this has to be negative to show that it's going to reflect about the x-axis. All right. Now, is there a translation of left and right? Once I reflect, I'm pretty much done, so I don't have to worry about that piece. So y equals negative 2 times sine of pi over 2x is 1. I, like I said, I'm repeating one of the many sine equations that I can have. Okay, I can have multiple sine equations. Okay, so now let's talk about the y function. I'm sorry, the um, cosine function. Y equals blank space cosine blank space x plus or minus. You can write whatever in there as long as it shows um, the translation of left and right correctly. Now, if the amplitude is going to be exactly the same, okay, I'm still going to put 2 here. The period B value is going to be the same. So the period is still 4, so this has to be a pi over 2, doing the same exact algebraic. The question is, let me graph out my uh, cosine function. Let me just plot this out. Okay, if I were to quickly sketch out my cosine function with an amplitude of 2 and a period of 4 pi, this is what I would end up with. Okay, so the, the blue one is, is there a phase shift? Okay, so I'm going to pick up this point, and it looks like I can go to the left. The easiest way for me to see is I can go left by a one unit. Would you agree? To get to my original. So if I go left by one unit, so I can add one, because if you're adding, you're going to go left. Or you can even write another one, okay? You can say, hey, you know what? I can actually go to the right by 4. So you can go in here and x minus 4, and that's going to be okay too. So this is one of the many, many cosine functions that we can formulate um, with this particular graph. So hopefully you understood what you just saw and heard. And um, this is going to be the end of this particular example. I'll see you guys next time.